That'll work. We don't want to put the seats on the side of the hill there. That's center pole. They're having a circus in town. I was wondering if we could put a poster in the window. Sure can. Okay, right over here, all right? Oh, my God, perfect. If you want to come back, the shows are at 5.30 and 7.30. That's it. Red, did they say where the water is? On the outside, back of the house. One night, yeah. Big three ring circus? No, no, it's a small, old fashioned one ring circus. Oh, yeah, that's what we need. We're old fashioned folks. This is what the circus was like a hundred years ago, you know, except maybe for the trucks and generators. It's, it's a way of life. You know, uh, people, oh, they still run away with a circus. Funny, uh, a few years back, a group of us, I was when I was teaching school, and a lock went to a fortune teller. She told me, she said, I can see around this big thing that goes up and then it comes down. And she said, you'll meet a young man there. He's much younger than you. And she said, uh, you two will, will really hit it off. She said, he, he's a near genius. So uh, I've decided the last year it must be red she was talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, and welcome to the 1986 edition of the Culpepper and Merriweather Great Combined Circus. There's no one around here named Culpepper or Merriweather. It's just that Red liked those names. And, well, you know, there's no question about it. This is Red Circus. There aren't many people that would do what he's done. That is bring together eight people and have them drive and put up the tent, do two shows, and tear it down, and then move on. It's just a case of total dedication. We run the road nine or 10 months a year. And it's the same every day we set up do two shows and we tear down and then the next morning we're back on the road to the next town. We play about 200 towns a year, like the towns here in Iowa, New Hartford, Strawberry Point, Guttenberg, Monona, but some are even smaller. At times you need a pretty detailed map just, just to find them. But the small towns are where we belong. We call it the high grass country. This Iowa town, Oshin, looked real good and believe it or not, the sponsors were asking if we could fit everyone in the tent that wanted to see the show. Yeah, right Thank there. you. Today we'll have a good day. There's, they're anticipating a lot of people. That's, that's the best kind of problems we can have, is worrying about how we're going to seat everybody. If we had those kind of problems, we'd be doing great every day. I have a new trailer that I'm going to be living in next year that will end approximately six years of washing up the hose here. There's a lot of places you can wash up, fairground showers, you know, you can get showers pretty often, but uh, most commonly right before the show, before I get ready, I come over here just to wash my face and stuff, get cleaned up a little bit, you know, before the show, right here at the old hose, old fashioned style. You know, you take this giraffe and you look at it at home and you think, why did I shell out three bucks for this thing? But when it's hanging there with a whole assortment of stuff, it looks good and it, they think it's part of the circus that they should have something to remember it by. And then it looks neat and attractive and then they get home and they wake up the next morning and they say, I must have been drunk or something to buy this thing. We were really going after, she even encouraged me the whole time, you know, yeah. to keep, how about this place? Yeah, Apples? that looks good. Apples. All right. Yeah. I wonder what the special is in here today, Beach. I don't know. So anyways, I walk in there and I say, I'm BJ the Clown. I was with the circus. I've been writing to you all season. And she says, oh, I got your letter. She says, are you going to be here Saturday? And I said, no, I'm not going to be here on Saturday. She says, too bad you could come to my wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you got an excellent deal in that trailer. Yeah. Plus, it's an investment, too, I suppose. Oh, yeah, we'll have it a long time. You'll be broke, but, you know, for a while. Be but... broke. I am broke. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. Okay, thank you. 
So, all right, can I get you anything else? No, that's fine. I'm I'm good. So, are yeah. you with the circus, huh? Yeah, yeah the big circus coming to town. So, today. are you guys with a couple yeah. of clowns or what? No, no. Performance. Uh, oh yeah, he's the high wire walker. He's uh, internationally known. It's uh, I wouldn't say it's easy to make anybody laugh, but the kids seem to be a little more of an easy laugh than adults do. You know, if their kids are having a good time, most adults are having a good time, because that's what they came for. They say it was just to bring the kids. They end up having a pretty good time. They laugh. Right here. Mommy, Daddy, 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 Daddy
They fold and, and you never hear from them again. This will be the main entrance, right here. Open the other door. Take a good day like yesterday and, well, you know, you think about expanding, buying a new truck or getting an elephant. But then you hit a day like today, you just hope you can get the rag up and people come out and you make payroll. Weather can really kill you. Like the time, well, it was in Arizona, the big drop almost blew away and we had to cancel both shows. And there's other things like, well, ponies ran away one time and they spent get the it. night in a golf course. You go into some of these towns, the town looks good, the posters are up, you can see the interest, but the people just don't come out to see the show. There's people starting to show up. I thought we'd pack them here, really. That's 10 and 10 is 20. Thank you, enjoy the show, folks. If you have your tickets, walk right in. If you're buying tickets, come up here, please. Three children, one adult. Okay, let's see. Three children would be seven fifty. One adult would be three fifty. That'd be eleven dollars, please. Look at the way he's dressed, folks. He's got to come from Waterloo. We're gonna teach him a lesson. Regardless of the size of the house, we always give a complete show. And, and people can't believe that this show is run by eight people. And they're the guys that drive the trucks, they drive the stakes, they put in the seats, take a nap, do two shows, tear down, go to bed and do the same thing the next day. We need a receipt for all what we own. Well, that's what I told her on the phone. And she told me she, she would send it. What's that, the door? Yeah. We didn't do nothing in the concessions. We're not going to get an elephant this way, huh? Huh. Or a new chair. Or you make payroll, even. Uh, you're talking about me going ahead. Where am I going to go? Sometimes I go ahead to do the advance work. It's what we call the front end, booking dates and the publicity. And then it's up to me to lay out a route that makes sense. Take it a little bit. We have overnight jumps of you know, 40 or 50 miles. And then you just Wait. hope the towns like this show enough to fill the top and that they want you back again next year. I don't need a bag. I'll put this in, the, in my shirt with the rest of the stuff. What is your Thank you. We got to get this tire fixed today. I can't afford to buy a new one. Okay, what picture is this? Well. A well? Bell. Bell. Now, we, what we, we've been seeing these all day long, every day now. Barn. 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 Okay, which ones did you need to circle? I think they like the Bell. freedom Bell. of this life just as much as Bell. I do. Barn, very good, that's good. I that's also it. think that they learn a lot Bell. by Bell. traveling and Bell. seeing the country, okay, seeing things that they read about in their school books and experiencing everything that we see all around the country. Staying in one town for more than a week or two at a time doesn't feel normal to me. Traveling is normal to me and living in a trailer is normal. That's the way I was raised. Sit. Sage. It's an hour till doors. Why don't you get up? Out of 
circus and sit there and watch the guy up on the wire and I liked when he put me on the edge of my seat. I was scared of heights since I was a little kid so every time I go up there it's like a, a struggle within me. But I'm confident in what I do up there but it still becomes kind of a challenge for me to say that hey you're doing it. If I ever quit the circus I think I'd still put a wire up in my backyard just to go out there and and be on the wire. It's kind of a free feeling. It's kind of like you're walking on, on air almost. And uh, I like it a lot. Grace, beauty, and talent on the single trapeze. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, the incredible Tavana! Tavana is fourth generation circus. She's been on the road all her life. She learned trapeze from her grandmother when she was six, and, and here she is, just look at her. Now in the morning, she's busy hooking up water and electricity for the trailers, and then she works the concessions, and she cares for her three small boys. Trevanna is circus through and through, and well, we, we, we just love her. Where do I leave the lot? I don't know. Look That's at the, the arrows. There's 12, 52 all the way, and the lot is at the fairgrounds. This circus is making it. You know, a lot of people would say in this day and age, well, it, it couldn't be done. But Red has put this together with good people. People that, that they'll work with him and they'll put on a good show and, well, they're, they're troopers. And they'll do it day after day after day. We got a saying in the business, you got to be with the show and for the show. On this circus, everyone is with it and for it. <laughs> 